Welcome to Lesson 14E, Dust Cakes and Bag Houses. We're going to talk about dust cakes and then how they affect bag houses. It turns out that dust cakes are a critical part of bag houses. So what is a dust cake? Well, consider some filter with you not being the airspeed before and after the filter. Upstream of the filter is called the dirty side and downstream of the filter is called the clean side. You have some mass concentration coming in and some mass concentration coming out as usual. But over time, what happens is you start to get dust collecting on the surface of the filter. A lot of the dust collects inside as well, but we're interested in what happens on the outside of the filter. This is called a dust cake, just a buildup of particles on that filter. The simplest example I can think of is the dust cake that builds up on your dryer. When you're drying clothes, there's always a little filter that you have to clean and you see a buildup of lint and dust that builds up on the dirty side of that filter. Well, the same thing happens in any kind of a filter. Golly, Professor, I didn't even know there was a filter on my dryer. Well, there is, Dud. It's usually right there when you open the door. What are the consequences of this dust cake that builds up? Well, the efficiency goes up, so that's good. What happens is the dust cake itself acts like another filter in series with the real filter. So this dust cake is actually collecting particles by itself like a filter, making A to go up. That's a great thing, so why don't we just let the dust cake keep building up? Well, the bad news is that delta P also goes up. If we call P in the pressure upstream and P out the pressure downstream of the filter, this dust cake can really increase that delta P. That causes blockage and it's hard on the blower system in your ducts and things like that. So the bottom line is you really should clean or replace your filters regularly. As soon as this lecture's done, I'm gonna go home and clean my dryer filter. That's a good idea, Dud. Now I want to talk about bag houses. These are basically a whole bunch of big vacuum cleaner bags in a box. They're used for coal power plants, lime kilns, etc. Here's a schematic. The dirty air from the furnace comes in. In this case, the dirty air goes in, hits the outside of the bag and goes through it, and then the clean air comes out the inside of the bag at the top here and then goes up the stack through a blower, of course. But a dust cake will build up on the outside of these bags then. So each of these bags starts building up this dust cake. I'll draw it more in detail here on this zoomed in portion. So you have to have some mechanism of taking this dust cake off, removing the dust cake and cleaning the bags. Well, there's two main types of bag houses based on how you get rid of the dust cakes. Reverse flow and shaker. These names are somewhat self-explanatory. Reverse flow bag house cleans by reversing the airflow and that distorts the bag to push the dust cake off. In this schematic, you can see what's happening. These bags are hanging from the top. This is the kind where the air comes into the inside of the bag. So the air comes in here, it goes through normally the inside of the bag, and then the clean air comes out of the bag and then is collected at the top. It's the opposite of the schematic on this case. So whereas in this case, the dust cake builds up on the outside of the bag, in this case, the dust cakes are building up on the insides of the bags. So it's very similar to the bag on your vacuum cleaner at home. The air comes in to the middle of the bag, goes through the bag, and so the dust cake buildup is on the inside of the bag in this case, instead of the outside. Those are just two different ways of creating a bag house. You can have dust collect on the outside or the inside of the bag. Either way, you have to somehow get that dust cake out. For this case, there's a high pressure inside and a lower pressure outside. And what a reverse flow bag house does is reverse this flow. So they make the air go the opposite way. It comes in from the outside to the inside. And what that does is sort of collapse this bag a little bit and dislodges the dust cake, which then falls down into a hopper down here. That's called a reverse flow bag house. Here's a slightly different kind. This again is the opposite case where the air comes to the outside of the bags and then the clean air comes out from the inside. So in this case, the dust cake builds up on the outside of the bags, not the inside. There's a wire mesh cage that keeps this bag from collapsing because this is the opposite here from what I sketched above. So in this case, the air is coming in from the outside and going up. 
So the dust cake builds up on the outside of the bag. Pressure is reversed too. The high pressure is on the outside, the low pressure on the inside. That's why you need this cage so that these bags don't collapse. In this case up here, you don't need a cage because these bags are stiff enough that they just kind of get filled with air and they don't collapse on their own. These would just collapse if they didn't have the cage. But to clean these, we blow the air the opposite way. So the air will be blown here this way into the bag and push the bag out and stretch it out away from that cage. And that's what dislodges the dust cake. Again, once you dislodge the dust cake, the particles just fall down into some kind of a hopper. The second kind is called a shaker bag house, and you remove the dust cake by just physically shaking the bag. There's some kind of mechanism that just basically shakes this bag, and then the dust cake just falls off into the hopper. Here's another schematic where you can see the shaker mechanism up here. And here's a cool picture I found of the actual shaker apparatus up here with some springs and stuff, and this whole thing just vibrates when they want to clean the bags. Finally, I want to give you a little bit of history. Penn State used to have a coal power plant right across from my office window, actually. I could see this bag house that they had right across the street. Well, in 2017, they tore the whole thing down because Penn State converted to natural gas instead of coal. I had actually taken a tour of this power plant before they tore it down. This was a reverse flow bag house. And I took a bunch of pictures when they started to demolish it. You can also see the stack where I've shown you some pictures of the plumes coming off of that smokestack. So this building contained all kinds of bags that were hanging down. There were hundreds of them. And it was a reverse flow bag house like I described. This shows where they're starting to tear that whole thing down. That was in April of 2017. In May of 2017, they started tearing down the stack itself. If any of you were around then, it was really a sight to see how they did it. Instead of just letting the stack collapse, they climbed up to the top and started taking it apart brick by brick from the top. The workers would come up here and just start banging away and let the bricks fall down on the inside. And so every day I'd come and it would slowly get shorter and shorter. These are just some pictures of how it got shorter and shorter until finally all that was left was a bunch of bricks that they kept hauling out and a little bit of the stack. And then finally all that was left was the concrete pad where that stack used to sit. So by June 30th, it was all gone. Now they put a whole new building where that bag house used to be, and it's just an office building now. In the distance, you can see one of the stacks for the natural gas burners. Natural gas is extremely clean compared to coal. You don't need a bag house or anything like that because there's no particulate coming off of natural gas combustion, just CO2. And as I mentioned before, natural gas produces about half of the CO2 that coal does for the same amount of energy. So it's a much better alternative to coal in terms of both air pollution, particulate matter especially, and carbon dioxide. All this talk about dust cakes is making me hungry. Well, Arnold, you definitely don't want to eat this kind of cake. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.